Hey, thanks for making it Veterans Info Tap. I'm glad you made it. Wanted to share with you some of the July 2023 highlights from the Department of Veterans Affairs Office of the Inspector General. These things are always um, disturbing and interesting at the same time. So please hit the thumbs up for me, subscribe, share with a friend, all that good stuff. I really appreciate it. Helps the channel and helps push out the word. Knowing what's going on within the agencies that serve us is an important piece. And understanding what's happening also gives us the power to be able to have informed conversations, if need be, with congressional leadership uh, and other veterans. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to kind of skip around a little bit in this highlights um, document that I have. It's uh, seven pages long, uh, which I am not going to read all of that. I'll spare you some of the reading. Um, but I'm going to jump down to uh, the Office of Investigations portion and uh, read to you a little bit of this. So uh, there is... Uh, I'm going to read, basically it's a headline with a little blurb about it, and so I am going to jump into that, the interesting headline and the little blurb, and then just kind of do a few of those for you. All right, healthcare investi investigations, compounding pharmacy owner convicted of illegal kickbacks and, mon and money laundering. So that's uh, interesting. Let's see what's going on with that. A multi-agency investigation resulted in charges alleging that numerous defendants, including pharmacists, physicians, recruiters, and beneficiaries, participated in a scheme to defraud federal health care programs by billing for non-reimbursable medications in compounded prescriptions. Um, and let's see here. I'm going to skip kind of through it a little bit. The total loss to the government is estimate. Are you ready for this? The total loss to the government is estimated to be over $75 million, including an approximate $3 million loss to the VA. Wow. Uh, let's see what else it says here. The owner of the compounding pharmacy was found guilty in a northern district of Texas, in the northern district of Texas on charges of payment of kickbacks and conspiracy to launder monetary uh, instruments. The investigation was conducted by the VA OIG, Defense Criminal Investigation Services, Department of Health and Human Services OIG, FBI, and the Department of Labor OIG. Wow. Next one. Former pharmacy technician and confidant sentenced for scheme involving stolen diabetic test strips. Let's see what that is. A former pharmacy technician at the Battle Creek VA Medical Center in Michigan used her position to steal more than 400,000 in, diab in diabetic test strips from the facility and then sold them to individuals not affiliated with the VA. Following an investigation by the VA, man, that's a lot of test strips, I would think. Uh, following an investigation by the VA, by the VA OIG, Food and Drug Administration Office and uh, of Office of Criminal Investigations and VA Police Services, the pharmacy tech and and confidant admitted that uh, the scheme admitted to the scheme and uh, were sentenced in the Western District of Michigan to 18 and I'm guessing 18 years. 18? It says 18 and 10 months. So I don't know what that is. So. Uh, Western District of Michigan to 18 and 10 months in prison, respectively. Oh, okay. Two different, must have been two different charges. Uh, oh, I get it. The pharmacy tech and a confidant. So two, two people. One got 18 months. The other got 10 months. There you go. Um, they also uh, each received three years of supervised release and were ordered to jointly pay restitution for more than $427,000. I guess start working, right? Uh, Co-conspirators uh, indicted for a healthcare fraud scheme. A multi-agency investigation resulted in charges alleging that multiple defendants participated in a scheme to defund, uh, defraud the federal health care programs by submitting more than 1,700 claims for services that were not rendered. And let's uh, skip down a little bit. Uh, the total loss to the government is $413,000. Of this amount, 
Uh, the loss to the VA is about $250,000. Two defendants were indicted in the Middle District of Georgia on charges of health care fraud and cons uh, conspiracy to obstruct justice. One of the defendants is also indicted for aggravated identity theft. The investigation was con uh, conducted by the VA, OIG, DCIS, HHS, OIG, and the Georgia Medicaid Fraud Control Unit. Benefits investigation. So the first one was the health care. Now we're on the benefits side. So you have health care, VHA. You have uh, benefits, which is VBA, the Veterans Benefits Administration. Veteran indicted in connection with multiple fraud schemes. According to another multi-agency investigation, a veteran allegedly submitted false documents to VA to obtain a VA-backed loan for a property valued at $2.1 million. The investigation also alleges that the veteran used his position as an Army financial counselor to target Gold Star families, what a dirtbag, to invest in their survivor benefits and investment accounts that were managed by his private employer. He was in, uh, indicted in the District of New Jersey on charges of wire fraud, securities fraud, making false statements in a loan application, committing acts furthering a personal financial uh acts furthering a personal financial interest and making false statements to a federal agency. The investigation was conducted by VAOIG, Homeland Security Investigations, FBI, DCIS. Good. Uh, next one. Uh, relative of a deceased veteran pleaded guilty to theft of government funds. From April 2006 to May 2021, a defendant stole VA and Social Security benefits intended for his deceased veteran brother and used them for his own personal expenses. The total loss to the government is over $664,000, including an almost $507,000 loss to the VA. The VA OIG and Social Security Administration OIG investigated the case. School owner pleaded guilty in connection with education benefits fraud scheme. The owner of a non-college degree school defrauded the Veteran Education Benefits Program by making various misrepre misrepresentations to VA and the Louisiana Department of Veterans Affairs. The school owner was aware that the funds were intended to train veteran students but used them instead to train the train and provide service dogs. In some cases, the defendant obtained VA payments and provided no services whatsoever. The total loss to the VA is approximately $384,000. The defendant pleaded guilty in the Western District of Louisiana to theft of government funds following an investigation by VAOIG. Next one, defendant pleaded guilty to theft of government property from November 1993 to July 2023, that's a long time, a defendant received VA dependency and indemnity compensation benefits intended for his deceased grandmother. Ah, okay, so this is a, a follow-up. I remember this one. The deceased beneficiary was a recipient of VA benefits due to the military service of both her husband and son. A review of the deceased beneficiary's bank records revealed that for nearly 30 years, the defendant used her VA benefits for his own personal expenses. The VA loss is more than 340,000 following an investigation by the VA OIG and the defendant pled guilty in the Western District of Missouri to theft of government property. Next one, former VA employee convicted of compensation benefits fraud scheme. The VA OIG investigated, investigation found that a former supervisory a veteran service representative at the oh geez at the Little Rock VA regional office submitted materially false disability benefits questionnaires to a VA to VA. According to evidence presented in a, at trial, the former VA employee obtained a genuine DBQ from a private physician and then created a fictitious DBQ attaching the signature page from the genuine DBQ. Wow, uh, to his phony one. Wow. This led uh, directly to the defendant receiving special monthly compensation benefits to which he was not entitled. The loss to the government is $114,000. The defendant was convicted by a federal jury in the Eastern District of Arkansas for theft of government funds and false statements. 
So yeah, pretty crappy. So that's the, um, there's other ones, right? So those are the two that I like to focus on uh, for purposes of these videos. So the healthcare side, the benefits side, there is another section here called investigations involving other matters, uh, which I will just read the um, headlines and not the actual you know portions in the inside. So four defendants sentenced in connection with a multi-million dollar workers compensation fraud scheme. A uh, former VA licensed practical nurse sentenced to the distribution and possession of child porn, which is just ludicrous. Um, next one is Office of Audits and Evaluations, uh, IT, so uh, Inspection of Information Security at the Northern Arizona VA Healthcare System uh, and Outcomes. And then uh, that, that pretty much wraps it up. I'll spare you the rest. So with that, Hope you have a great one. Just want to share the information with you so you aware of what's going on uh, and you can chime in uh, where need be when needed. Uh, it's better to know it and, and not need it than need it and not know it, right? So thanks so much for watching. I truly appreciate each and every one of you, especially those that hung on till the end. And uh, have a great one. Remember, if we don't uh, take care of each other, something went wrong.